Scott, also known as the little guy, the guy on the left, the silent one, has long-lasting COVID symptoms and still cannot fully taste or smell. Hashtag, trust Bart. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Woo, Bart here. We got a 2020 special release, single barrel Woo, rye from Jack Daniels. Scott hasn't had a special release in a long time, but we're going to test it! JD style. Special release, barrel proof, rye style. It's a lot of words. About got tongue tied. Tongue tied. Crazy look to the camera. That is a lot of so, verbiage. Yeah, yeah. Special release. I thought it was reserved. Single, single barrel, barrel, barrel special proof, release, barrel proof. Twenty twenty limited edition. Limited edition. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. So similar to the Heritage Ooh. barrel, same bottling. Yes. Uh, the single barrel Her Heritage bottle that came out twenty nineteen, and the same bottle style as what we like to call the double barrel, yeah. which is single barrel, barrel proof. One of my favorites, yep. actually. The double barrel. The double barrel. Now. The coach gun. So this is 2020. We've had this one for a while. Ooh. But because of my COVID yeah. issues, the long-term last, long -term COVID effects, my taste is really coming back pretty good, I think. I, I put it 80, 90%. My smell, though, is still like, 20 to 30%. Yeah, yeah, but the taste buds are really coming yep. along. You're the designated dog walker. Because <laughs> you can clean up without any kind of hazard. <laughs> yeah, and no problem. Don't You're smell like, a thing. Yeah, hey, no problem at all. These dogs smell great. <laughs> yeah, uh, sixty-six point zero five percent, one thirty-two point one proof. Like That's it. high, high ABV. Like the high ABV, we will talk about our salute to twenty twenty coins later. Along with my Android head. Mm. Now, with your nose Ooh. down, what do they got to do? Oh, you got something. I was just about to say, what do they got to do? Hashtag. Trust Bart. I like it. I like it a lot. But well, what you just said, I, you're. There's something. that now. So generally with my nose, I can tell there's whiskey in the glass. <laughs> Sometimes I'm getting some hints of things. This one, a really a blast of a sweet. Yeah. Almost like a ginger or a cardamom. I would say you're right on. You sure you're not at eighty two percent? And maybe it's back a little Thanks bit. Thanks for coming back. More of that that those spices. Do you find the during the time of day you pick up different smells better, or worse? Does it wear out? No, it's just no. it comes and goes. Okay. And really, there's some inflammation in my nose that I can feel up in here okay. it, that is inflamed sometimes. Wow. Up more towards my sinuses, I think. And when that when that's inflamed, there's nothing wow. I can't get. You need around, those but. gravity boots. Hang yourself upside down. Ooh, we can uh, do well, a review. We've got, the, we've got the inversion chair. Ooh. Yeah. Wow, we should do a review where you drink upside down. <laughs> this okay, so I would say not a rye nose. It doesn't smell. No, there's like no rye. dill. There's no. no dill in there. You're right that it's sweet up front. I still get a little bit of that rye, not the dillish rye, but it's kind of like that a touch of rye bread in there. Like a warm baked bread. This kind of reminds me more of the um, the, the Thomas Handy Sazerac, right? Oh. The BTAC special okay. edition that we had. Wow, you say BTAC, people get all ooh, yeah, they get all. But it was the thing is, it's a it's a rye, but it was a different. Rye. It had a lot of the, that ginger and, and yeah. cinnamon and more of the the spices. We and could stuff call to it, it kitchen spices. Yeah, apparently I'm the only one that says that. Everybody else says. Baking, 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 baking spices. Because you're like, uh, aren't they always held in the kitchen? That's where most spices somebody are keeps at. their spices in their den. <laughs> Sorry. This smells mm. great, though. It's got a little dustiness on it. Mm. Mm. That's very nice. It is. That exceeds my expectations. Yeah. <laughs> I had, ooh, boy, it's, that's high proof, too. Yeah. Wow, it's like a, uh, with like a, a vanilla. Orange zest. Yeah, I get the orange. Wow, there's a the, lot of things in there. The ginger. Yeah. The cardamom. 
but it's sweet up front. Sweet. And then it fades into that orange zest. I'm not sure I know what cardamom. I've got to try that. I don't know if I could bring right. that one down. Just saying. Um, the the palate really matches the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ginger's all over that. And then that orange zest comes in in the mid palate. Velvety mouth feel. Mm. Wow, and then it's like an orange vanilla. There used to be <laughs> a little bit of pine. You know what it reminded me of is those those orange cream sickles, mm, yeah. which I don't think I've had since a kid. That just popped in because it's the orange and that creamy <laughs> vanilla in the finish at the same time. It's not that sweet, but it's that hint. Wow. Um, nice caramel. It's kind of almost some bourbon notes in there with it, though. Some nice caramel, some nice vanilla creams, the orange sickle cream. This does not scream rye at all. Mm -mm. And I like ryes no. as, as fall comes around. The pepperiness, no. The Even the dill sometimes, no. This is extremely unique. And we literally just cracked this mm. bottle before the before we hit record. Yeah, we you, were, you were letting it kind of air, but all in here. We haven't tasted it or anything yet, but it's a... It's uh, really good right out the, the neck yeah. pour off of it. Is. Yeah, because you were just peeling the plastic off. Wow. Man, Jack Daniels is doing some really, really interesting stuff. I got to admit, just looking at it, I was, I was expecting, okay, this will have like a little bit of the peppery rye to it or something. And um, I did not think we were going to have, I would have never guessed orange creamsicle would have come to mind. Wow. 66.05. That is nice. I am intrigued by the spice point. Yeah. So we'll get to that get soon. To that oh, I didn't bring bit. my we'll iPad for that. my score either. Ooh. I'm, um, well, and maybe I'm still not scoring. I'm getting, I'm pretty close. I feel pretty, pretty close good. on this one. Yeah, you are nailing this. This is, this is low 90s. This is a 92 or a 93, somewhere in there. I was going to say it's a, it's a clear 90 for me. Um, um, it's, I don't know, I don't quite get the rich or a, a, the richness or thickness, but it, boy, did it just give me all kind. Of, everything I described was just, whoo, and it, you were getting the same thing. It must be a little older mm -hmm. um, because the, the, youth, the youthful rye notes are not there. Right. Um, it's coming off that it's really sat in that oak a oh, little bit longer. I might go to 91. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to do it right there again. Yeah, I want to it. see. I'm doing 91. If you're going to air, air boldly. 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 Well, that wasn't a, you know, I'm not having a problem making a decision. That's what that's about. But the uh, the orange zest has just hit me from left field. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect that at all. Now, really smooth. We too. didn't talk about the two. We added a drop of water. Yeah. Didn't didn't hurt it. Um, don't know if it helped it. It was pretty good it's, right out of the bottle me, at 60. Yeah, same. Six, 60. It didn't 6%. have the drop we had, had no effect. I still get the nose of a little dry dustiness. Yeah. And those how about, baking spices. How about the, um, the Lincoln County process? Are you getting any charcoal filtration I'm not, notes? I don't feel like I'm picking up any no. of that at all. No, I, I, I'd agree. I mean, it may that. have smoothed it out or something, but. Smoothed it out. Smooth it out. <laughs> um, it doesn't carry the viscosity that it feels like it should. Because I feel like, I mean, it's got a little bit of the velvetiness on the cheek. But that's what I was saying. I don't have this, like, thick, kind of that, that thicker feeling that I feel this should be giving me. Not that that's a knock. I think it does. I think it's got a good coating. It's still there. Um, the finish, is it's got a long finish to it. It's everlasting. 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 Wow. I wouldn't say that. Well, yeah, probably not. Ever, it's last. How about this? It's Take lasting. the ever off. It's lasting. It's lasting. <laughs> yeah. Everlasting would be a step. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're trying, you know, a little hard bag later and you're like, nope, still getting that Jack Daniels. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, you mentioned pine. Or maybe late, late, late in the near everlasting finish, <laughs> I do pick up a little bit of that pine forest. Yeah. So... That is good. Yeah. 
So I, I moved up to a 91. You said... 92 or 93, okay, somewhere so, in there. So really I, I don't know if I'm back down. fully enough to pin it, but... You could pin it. It exceeds expectations. Yes, it does. Okay, so this was a special release. It's You probably can't find it anymore. Panic. Now it's May. Because we waited. Because we waited. Yeah. yeah. We did pick this up in November, December. Our price on this, uh, $80, $85. Okay. And I think that's pro probably around 90 is probably average for it. Maybe up to 100 somewhere in there. Well worth it if you can find it. It's definitely worth it. It's different. I like the single barrel barrel proof, what we call the double barrel better. And that double barrel comes in at like 59 or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So, I mean, um, this is unique though and different. So, if you see it, I would pick it up just for its uniqueness. Um, but I love their double barrel. So, yeah. I mean, if um, it was like, you can only buy one. Double barrel. I do see it's good. They do have they do put a bottle number on there. There is the uh, bottling date was no November 9th of 20. Hmm. So, wow. That's kind of like the, the Heritage, the single barrel. This one uh, was pretty tasty as well. Yeah. The single barrel special release Heritage barrel. That was good. Anything square from Jack Daniels seems <laughs> to be great. Yeah. So they got a guy or a gal working on, hey, what are we putting in the next square bottle? That person goes off and, and does alchemy. Nice. You're reading some of the verbiage, some of the marketing there on the back? Yeah. Blah, it's a lot. Blah, blah. It's a lot. But it's a gold lettering on a green background, reminiscent of the pine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm letting you read while I fill time a little bit. I'll just read it. So it, each sip lingers with mm. molasses, sawn oak. Sawn oak. It's okay. like you sawed. Sure. Sawn it's Just going oak. to work. And bold rye spice. See, I don't get a bold rye no. spice. Uh -uh. Spice? I said spice. Definitely a sweet spice. <laughs> it's, this is what it's doing to us. It's overtaking us. Uh, we do have a new Patreon Ooh, shout out. Yeah, do. we do. He's going to get a, with gusto, There's shout. A, a $2 supporter. Yeah. Just came Ooh. in. Just came in. You're going to get ready. Yeah. I like these when they got dual first names. Yeah. I just like it. The man with two names. Right. Christian Peter! Peter! Woo! <laughs> Double first namer. Hello. Hello. Thanks, Christian. Appreciate it. Yep. No one wouldn't mistake my last name for a first. That's all I'm saying. Oops. When they don't know quite how to even say it. I just give the first name. Hey, we need a name for your table, sir. We just go with Bart. It's the last name. They like. It's like they have a little stroke or something. Smart like rhymes that. with art. Smart, picturesque. <laughs> what? I saw you mouth that over here on our camera <laughs> or our monitor. That was wrong. All right, Scott. go to oh. go to scotchtestdummies.com. That's you can right. Pick up our coins uh, or glasses. So help support the show. There for a second. That was an oops moment. T-shirts. Go to patreon.com yes. and support us. These are starting to run out. So if you want a, a salute to 2020. The, the Lone Soldier Salute, go pick it up now. Yep. We may do a digitized safe for work version, but we don't know that yet. These are lingering around a little bit, but, you know, maybe you like 2020. And, That's right. You know, you don't want to salute it. Scotch it. You Scotch gods. Salute you. Dummies. Dummies.